Well, welcome back. Another episode of Daily Digs and Hits. Uh, this one I have been very excited for. Just came in the mail. I think they're called Global Art Series, uh, but I don't speak Chinese or read it. Uh, ordered these maybe a month and a half ago and they just arrived. I don't know a ton about it. I can't really find the odds online. Um, but I saw these and I thought they looked fantastic. Um, had to get them, get them off of eBay. Oh, hit my camera. Had to get them off of eBay, but let's open these up and see what they're all about. Oof. They're packaged really well. Well, small box comes with four individual packs. Looking online, it, it looks like there's some like gold plated ones, um, some really great artwork ones. Again, I I don't know if it's because they're from China or if they're just very new. I can't find a ton of info. Oh, I got my glasses sitting there. Can't find a ton of information on what I should be looking for what the odds are. That's cool. Put that back there. Four individual boxes. I'm assuming maybe there's some odds back here, but I can't tell. So uh, let's just go ahead and get started with this first one here. Looks like they do have A pole strap, but to be honest, that sucker is hard to find. Oh, there it is. Just going to have to resort to a little knife work. We'll just leave that knife there in case we need it again. All right, well, let's see what we got here. Very intricate packaging. Okay. Oh. Okay. Very thick cards, almost a cardboard stock. Cool artwork. A little Vader. Stormtrooper. Look at that. That's cool, Kenobi. Leia. I mean, kind of looks like a dude. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I mean, I get the artwork, but that's not a great. We're going to skip past that one. That one's cool. Boba Fett. C-3PO. Little Vader helmet there. This one has a weird texture to it. And it looks like a silver variant there. Okay. How do I want to do this? Let's put them back in the box for now. I mean, so far, so they're they're cool looking. I'm not seeing a ton of like anything I would like fight for. As uh, to be honest, that first one was a little disappointing. Uh, some cool artwork; it looked cool. The cards are pretty thick. Um, maybe I was expecting something more along the lines of, you know, getting some 
reflective or refractors or color change or something like that. But again, it was just the first pack. So let's take a look. Looks like they've all got this uh, QR code thing. I'll have to check that out. Stormtrooper. Another Boba Fett. Another C-3PO. Hey, Darth Vader. Another Stormtrooper. Galatian's a little off. Millennium Falcon. Princess Leia. Luke. Han and Chewie. Oh yeah, they're super thick. You can like they definitely feel cardboard stock. And these ones have texture. Like I don't know if that means that they're special, but man, that's it's like an actual like mini painting. Like a mini canvas painting on a card, which is really cool. And then a Vader one that's got a little refractorist refractorish look to it all right i do like vader so we're going to protect him we're going to put that back on top before we stick it back in the pack there we go back in the box back in the holder again this one took me a while i'm i'm Sure, you can find them domestically. Like I, I, I got online after I got these, and I found a couple places selling them. The downside to that is I found some places selling them for anywhere from eighty to two hundred dollars a box. These ones I got on eBay um, for around seventy. So, if you're willing to wait the six weeks that it took, whoa! Look at that. Oh, baby, that one looks cool. Here's our scanner. Little R2-D2 artwork there. C-3PO. The 70s style. Luke, I'm going to hold off on this one I feel like this one's upside down is it no oh it's numbered it's like gold plated look at that numbered out of 100 wow that is pretty cool put that right there for a minute We'll finish this pack out. Yoda. Luke. Uh, I feel like we just had this one. I guess I should check the back to see if any of these are numbered. R2, no. Stormtrooper. And Leia. Okay. Put this one back in the box, back here. I'm gonna grab a, a sleeve. I've got sleeves for thick cards, and this one I think would qualify. We're 96 out of 100. Gosh dang it, I keep hitting my camera. Okay. Last one. If I can get into it.
Does look like we got another gold one in there. Unfortunately. Looks like here's our scanner. Another Vader. Luke. Stormtrooper. I mean, very, very artsy. Tauntaun. Little add at action. Chewbacca. Not the greatest collation. Like, we got two of the same in the same pack. Well, Jedi, R2, Yoda. Ooh, that's kind of a cool looking one. Another Vader. Like, all glossy. R2D2, or sorry, 3C3PO. Okay. So the quality's there, guys. I mean, really great, thick card, artwork style. This one is killer. It's like shiny surface on there. That's definitely probably one of my favorites. Is it worth it? I honestly don't know. I mean, if... Again, you're willing to wait for the delivery time from China or willing to spend the extra money um, domestically. Uh, that's up That's up to you. Um, it looks like they do have some limited number rare ones, like this one here. But I'm getting one numbered out of that box. I'm going to let you decide on what you think. For me, if I could find another pack domestically... That was around seventy dollars from what because that's what I paid for it. I'd probably get another one. I'd love to find some of these, some more of these numbered ones. They are really thick and they I doubt it's gold, but they look like they've got that gold edging on there. But as a Star Wars fan, I'm gonna have some ones in there, especially as a Vader fan. Really good Vader for artwork. If you're an art fan, they look beautiful. Um as a collector, I don't know if there's going to be a huge demand. Maybe there will be, and time will tell. But uh, that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope it introduced you into another option for Star Wars cards. So, all right. Thanks, guys.